taxes emerging in Europe to pay the costs of COVID. That's the subject of today's AgTech Trust and Estate Talk. Welcome to AgTech Trust and Estate Talk from the American College of Trust and Estate Council, a professional society of peer-elected trust and estate lawyers in the United States and around the globe. This series offers professionals best practice advice, insights, and commentary on subjects that affect our profession and clients. And now, our AgTech fellow host with today's topic. This is Doug Stanley, AgTech fellow from St. Louis, Missouri. During the COVID pandemic, in many jurisdictions in Europe, there has been a debate regarding whether to increase wealth and inheritance taxes to pay for the cost of COVID. To update us in Europe and other developments, is ACTEC fellow Nicola Sicardo from Milan, Italy. Welcome, Nicola. Thank you very much, Doug. Uh, in uh, this uh, podcast, uh, I will uh, address uh, briefly the OECD report, uh, the very recent OECD report uh, of the 14th of April uh, 2021, Inheritance Taxation in OECD Countries. Uh, uh, which is an extensive report, uh, not uh, binding, obviously, but that may very well affect uh, the domestic tax policies uh, of OECD countries, uh, uh, including many European jurisdictions. Uh, and then I will uh, touch upon the current debate uh, in Italy on uh, the potential introduction mm. of a wealth tax uh, and increase uh, in inheritance uh, tax. Starting with the uh, the OECD report, uh, the OECD report, uh, Inheritance Taxation in OECD Countries, uh, uh, sets out uh, uh, generally a very favorable view vis-a-vis -vis inheritance taxes. Uh, it stresses uh, the important role of inheritance taxes in the current context, uh, both from the point of view of raising revenues uh, to fund the COVID uh, costs, uh, but also to reduce uh, the increased uh, wealth inequality and uh, to enhance the quality of uh, opportunity. Uh, the OECD compares uh, uh, inheritance tax uh, with uh, wealth tax uh, and finds uh, that inheritance tax uh, has the benefit uh, of lower cost than annual wealth taxes uh, and also as uh, triggers uh, a limited migration response uh, compared uh, to wealth uh, taxes. The OECD further highlights, uh, from a general uh, policy standpoint, uh, that the case for inheritance tax is stronger if uh, income is taxed at low rates uh, and if uh, there is a limited uh, or no taxation of wealth uh, in the country. Uh, the OECD highlights uh, that the legislation in OECD member states uh, about inheritance tax varies uh, greatly. There are very significant differences. Uh, and what is uh, most important in this context uh, sets out a number of policy recommendations uh, which uh, are uh, worth uh, focusing uh, on. Uh, in terms of policy recommendations, indeed, uh, the OECD recommends uh, the use of a progressive uh, tax rate uh, rather than uh, uh, a fixed tax rate uh, and uh, uh, expresses a preference uh, for a recipient-based uh, inheritance tax, uh, i.e. a tax uh, that is uh, focused uh, on what uh, the single heir receives rather than uh, the estate uh, of the deceased. So that rate, uh, for instance, an exempt amount uh, should, be, uh, should apply to the inheritance received by the single heir rather than uh, to the estate uh, of the deceased. The OECD fathers uh, recommend uh, that taxable values uh, should, uh, to the extent uh, possible, be based uh, on fair market values uh, rather than deemed values or notional values, uh, and recommend uh, taxing the wealth transfer on a lifetime time basis. Uh, so transfers during life uh, should be taxed uh, as well as transfer upon death. Uh, and in principle, uh, the Air should uh, uh, be subject uh, to the same amount of tax uh, having uh, based on the amount received uh, whether that amount was received 
on the death of uh, the transferor or during the life of the transferor. Uh, the OECD then uh, moves uh, uh, on and focuses uh, on exemptions and relief for specific assets uh, and highlights uh, that these exemptions and reliefs need to have a strong rationale uh, given the risk of regressivity, i.e. these exemptions of relief may affect the progressivity of the tax. Uh, in relation to life insurance policies, uh, which are exempt uh, in, uh, in uh, several jurisdictions, uh, including uh, uh, Italy, the OECD uh, finds uh, that the exemption has a limited justification when uh, the life insurance policy is just a tax efficient investment vehicle uh, to all the financial assets. The OECD deals also with exemptions for family businesses, which are indeed very common in European jurisdictions, given the fact that they were recommended by the European Commission years ago, and Italy indeed has an exemption for family businesses. The OECD highlights that these exemptions should be subject to very strict requirements and conditionality, particularly the OECD makes the example uh, of uh, the clawback uh, of these uh, exemptions or reliefs uh, if the heirs uh, do not continue the business uh, which uh, has been uh, inherited. And uh, what is uh, very important to stress is the OECD seems to suggest that these exemptions for family businesses are meant to small and medium-sized businesses uh, and suggest uh, the potential introduction of a cap for the value of the business which benefits from the exemption. Just a couple of last policy recommendations of the OECD. The OECD recommends states to provide for the unlimited liability for some years if the individual emigrates from the jurisdiction, so an unlimited liability to inheritance tax after the transfer of residence abroad, and highlights the need to prevent tax avoidance through trust, through bare ownership, usufruct, or similar structures. And finally, recommend reconsidering the step up in the tax basis of the assets, particularly where inheritance tax is not levied. So this is as far as the, uh, the very extensive OECD report, which as I mentioned was issued recently, and although not binding, it is undoubtedly a very interesting document setting out the position of the OECD vis-a-vis -vis inheritance tax, and a document that may provide some insight on potential uh, legislative changes uh, in many jurisdictions. Uh, moving uh, now to Italy, in uh, 2020, after the beginning of the pandemic, uh, a debate uh, about uh, wealth taxes uh, started. Italy currently has uh, wealth taxes uh, on certain specific assets, uh, namely financial products uh, and real estate, uh, these taxes are levied also at very low rates. The, the debate uh, during the 2020, uh, actually there was a proposal by a single uh, member of parliament for the introduction of a comprehensive wealth tax on all assets levied at progressive tax rates. The uh, proposal faced a very strong criticism by pretty much all political parties and has not been brought forward. What is the most interesting these days is a proposal for an increase of inheritance tax in Italy. Italy currently has inheritance and gift tax. They are pretty much the same tax, so there is a coordination between the two levied at rates ranging from 4% to 8%, with the 4% rate being applicable to transfers to spouse and direct descendants. And actually, the OECD report highlights the 
very limited inheritance taxation in Italy, given the fact that the OECD average of the weight of inheritance tax over total tax revenues is 0.5%, while in Italy, the same percentage is 0.1, so one-fifth. Uh, so these uh, very low rates uh, have been uh, the object uh, of uh, a statement uh, of the leader of the main left-wing party a few days ago, when uh, the leader of the main left-wing party proposed a 20% tax rate uh, rather than the 4% rate for value of the estate in excess of 5 million euros. The proposal was uh, rejected by, was criticized by the Prime Minister and by right-wing parties. But uh, I believe one can say, uh, fairly say that it is uh, possible uh, that not uh, in the short term, but in the medium term, uh, the very low Italian inheritance tax rate might be increased. Uh, these uh, type of proposal uh, happened in the past, never found uh, political uh, support, but uh, uh, it may, uh, things may be different uh, in, uh, in uh, not in the, in the uh, short term, but certainly in the medium and long term. And as a matter of fact, uh, in, uh, uh, like every time, uh, there is a concern for a potential increase in inheritance tax rates. Uh, uh, clients uh, are very keen of uh, considering uh, uh, strategies to mitigate uh, these uh, potential adverse tax uh, uh, change in law uh, using uh, trust uh, gifts uh, or gifts of their ownership with the reservation of usufruct, uh, which is uh, very common in Italy. Thank you very much uh, for, for the attention. Thank you, Nicola, for educating us on this interesting tax topic arising from the COVID pandemic. Thank you for listening to this episode of AgTech Trust and Estate Talk, the podcast series about wealth planning matters from the American College of Trust and Estate Council. To find an AgTech lawyer near you, visit ACTEC.org. Please subscribe to this series and leave us a rating or a review. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at AgTech Talk. Talk.